To airdrop pretty much anything between your Mac and your iPhone, simply select the file or files you wish to airdrop and either click on the share icon or right click on the files and choose share from the shortcut menu. Select airdrop and you should see all the people in the vicinity who you have permission to airdrop to. You should also see your own devices listed here as well, so you can airdrop directly from your Mac to your iPhone like so. If you are airdropping to your own device, you won't be prompted to accept taking delivery of the airdrop. It'll just happen automatically and it should show on your phone like this. However, if you airdrop to someone else's device, they will be prompted to accept it. As well as photos, you can also airdrop files. As with photos, you can right click and choose share, or you can open airdrop in Finder and drag and drop your file over the device you wish to share with. You can also do the same for web pages in Safari, but it does have to be Safari. It doesn't work in Chrome or Firefox, and you can also share your location. If you don't see a device you wish to airdrop to as an option, it's probably because one of three reasons. Firstly, both devices need to have both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth enabled and be within nine meters or 30 feet of each other. Secondly, the receiving device needs to be discoverable. If that's your Mac, you can check your settings either in Finder, where you can change the option at the bottom of the window, or in Settings where you can find the option under General and AirDrop. On the iPhone and iPad, the option is only available in Settings under General in the same location as on Mac. The third reason is that you may have AirDrop only set to receive from your contacts rather than from everyone, but the person you wish to share with is not in your contacts list. Of course, AirDropping in the other direction from iPhone to Mac is just as easy. Click on the share icon and your airdrop options will either display as a list of available devices or you can click on the airdrop icon and all your possible destinations will be displayed. Tap on your Mac and your photos, videos or whatever file it is will open automatically on your Mac. Depending on the type of file you send, airdrop should automatically open the file in the corresponding app on your other device. So for example, sending a web page in Safari will automatically open that page in Safari on your Mac. So that is how to airdrop files between a Mac and an iPhone and vice versa. If you missed my earlier video explaining how to share passwords using airdrop, which is a bit more tricky, then here it is again. So Apple's recommended method for sharing a password with another Apple device is to use airdrop. Once you've met all of Apple's security requirements, using AirDrop to share a password is quite easy, but there are a few boxes that you need to tick to meet those, to meet those security requirements, which I'll go through in just a sec. However, to share your password on iPhone or iPad, open Settings, scroll down to Passwords, and choose the account that you wish to share. It's then just a matter of tapping on the Share icon and choosing the contact you wish to AirDrop to. That person will then just need to hit accept to receive the password, which will automatically be saved to their keychain. So when they next sign in to the associated website or app, they can use the account details you just sent them. With the release of macOS Ventura, it's pretty much the same process on Mac. Open settings, scroll down to passwords, click on the little icon to view the details of the account, and then click share. You can do the same thing from within Safari. Click on Settings in the menu, open the Passwords tab, and click Share. If you don't see the person you wish to send your password to available in AirDrop, regardless of whether you're using an iPhone, iPad, or Mac, it's likely because you haven't met Apple's security requirements for using AirDrop to share passwords. First up, AirDrop uses Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, so both parties need to be in the same vicinity as each other and must have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi enabled. Next, the person receiving the password needs to be discoverable in AirDrop. 
which means they need to go into their settings app, choose general, followed by airdrop, and then choose to either receive from anyone or from contacts only. You also both need to have Keychain enabled in your iCloud settings. You can check this by opening settings, clicking on your name, followed by iCloud, and making sure that iCloud passwords and Keychain is enabled. Finally, and this is the tricky bit, you both need to have each other listed as a contact on each other's device. And included in the contact details must be the email address that each person uses as their Apple ID. This last requirement is specific for airdropping passwords and isn't necessary if you're just airdropping stuff like photos or files. If you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hitting subscribe for lots more quick tips on all your favorite apps and devices. And you might also be interested in learning how to get Microsoft Word for free on Mac and how to read articles that are blocked behind a paywall. Until next time, my name is Anthony. Thank you very much for watching.